All right. Stanley, you can share something. 20 seconds. Okay? Just tell me what Jesus did in your life. 20 seconds. Uh, okay, that's enough. <laughs> no. Okay, here you go. Ready? Um, I just love Jesus, and I'm just excited for uh, what he's about to do in my life. through a lot of her life and God has totally changed her Amen. set her free God is she's a miracle standing in front of you I just have a so family I'm so proud of her she's like my own all right come on because of your profession of faith I now baptize your name the This is Joshua Camacho, also like one of my own. This whole family, I love them very much. Liz and, and Will and Maya and Alexa and this guy. And for two years, he's been asking, I want to get baptized, I want to get baptized. And now today's the day. And he said, Mom, come on, I really want to do it. <laughs> all right. Want to say something? Um, yeah, I love the Lord with all my heart. This man, this young man of God, is going to do tremendous things for God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ready, brother? I got the Father in here baptizing his son. This is great. Because of your professional faith, I baptize you in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You notice how I say on every one of them they're special? Because they all are. This one was the best $200 I ever spent. I can't put it in the water. A month. And I'd spend it all over again if I got him. One day he went to the movies, Belmore Movie Theater, and he saw this commercial and all these different colors of people. And it said, no matter what, what color you are, what race, or what religion, you belong here. You belong here. And he said, you know something? One day I'm going to check out that church. How long did it take for you to get here? About two or three months, maybe. About three months, but the seed was still planted. And one day, this man walks in the door. And he says, Pastor, uh, we, I said, how'd you find out about us? He said, I saw you on the movie screen. And he started coming. And then he started coming, and then he started coming, and then I can't get rid of him. <laughs> and Diana, and his, and his daughter, and, and his son, and his stepson, they're all coming, and they're all believing, and three of them are getting baptized today. And, and so his life has been changed. Diana tells me, says, you gave me a new man. Amen. This man was about to give up. He didn't want to do anything with God. And all of a sudden, God said, no, you don't. His life's really been changed, really been changed. So this is really a miracle in front of you. Amen? Amen. Because you profess your faith, and I'll baptize you in the Father, the Son, Come 
I'm Natalie. Here's his daughter. This one also. As soon as she started coming, um, it was just wonderful. I mean, she started just smiling and happy, and she's like, I love it. And, and last week, she was doing the Sea Kids program with the Families Feeding Families, and what a great job she was doing. She really yeah. loves Jesus. Yeah. This one really loves Jesus. Yeah. So you want to say anything? Um, Jesus helped me through a lot over no, 13 years, and I just am blessed. Wow. I love this one. <laughs> That's awesome. Because your profession of faith and now baptize you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. This one I got the empanadas. <laughs> one night she was she was in our house. We we uh, did a small group and uh, and she says to me, she says, You gave me a new man. Gave me a new life. That this has really been a change in every way in her life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you for all your blessings. Amen. Amen. Because of your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son. Yeah. This one has been great. She's, she's just a blessing, you know. She's friends of uh, Aldea and the family. And, you know, Aldea is one of those people that if you don't go to church, she's gonna get you here. So, uh, and she's a pit bull for Jesus. We love that. So one day, this beautiful lady comes into the door, and uh, she's just wonderful. She's a, her spirit is wonderful. She's giving. She's loving, and she makes a great paella. So we have to keep her. Always be nice to this one, okay? Be nice. To you. No, but get rice pudding. You're tremendous rice pudding. But God did a tremendous thing in her life. Come on, say something. Uh, I want to say thank you, Jesus, for giving me my life back. Um, that's it. Amen. You got your life back. Amen. And more. Because of your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yesterday she was here for a while with us, you know, just decorating all these beautiful decorations, right? Yeah. When you get someone in your church that just loves the Lord, their life has been totally changed, but then they want to give back and they want to serve, that's a keeper. Because God gives us, not so that we can just hoard it for ourselves, but that we can serve others and bless others. This is a servant right here. This is a, this is really one that gives a lot of blessings to everyone. So we'll give her a little five minutes of fame. Go ahead, tell them about the Lord. Go ahead. I just want to thank Jesus for really turning my life around and bringing me back where I belong. And that's in Connect Church. Wow, that's great. We're going to put that on the commercial. That's going to be on the commercial. Ready to go. Molly, get that tape. This one was the first one to come out of the family. And uh, um, my greatest evangelist is probably Google. Google's my greatest evangelist. One day, she's looking for a church. She says, I need to get back on track. I need to get back with God. She went on Google. She said the church came up. We were the first ones that came up. And so she checked us out. She came. She kept coming. She kept coming. And she told mommy to come and sister to come and everybody to come. And, and, and she's been a blessing. And now, did you see it? Did you see the sisters? Only a second week on the stage singing in the worship team. And so she's been faithful, and she's been committed, and she's been here. She's a blessing. She really is. Amen. 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 I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for bringing me back on track, and thank you for everything you're doing in my children's life. I love you, Lord. Amen. And only 
It's only the beginning. The best is yet to come. Amen? Amen. Because of your profession of faith and now baptized in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey, This guy, what a blessing he is, and what God has done in his life, and what he's going to do in his life. How many people know that God is able to do miraculous things in your life? Yes. Amen? Amen. He can open windows that nobody opens, doors that no man can shut, and this man is a man of God. Nobody's perfect, but he's a true man of God with a good heart. And even though he's this big guy, he looks like this strong guy, he can stay away. No, man, this guy's like a teddy bear. He really is. He's, he has a heart as big as the ocean, as big as his biceps. He has a heart, you know? And that's pretty big. But uh, God took him to so many different places, and God's not done with this guy. God has a tremendous testimony. He's going to share and what God is going to do. So let's pray. Let's pray for him and, and see everything that God has for him. Amen? Amen. 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 I'd just like to thank God for an amazing support system and I'm um, just sending some clarity in my life. Amen. Amen. How many people need clarity? Amen. Amen. <laughs> this is our resident hitman. So if you give him the offering, he will see you afterwards. No. This guy came to me almost a year ago. And uh, well, we sat right over there. And uh, every week we come in, they didn't know what, you know, was going on and you know just very inquisitive calls me all the time almost every day every day and uh, but he just wants to know more about God and he says to me he goes pastor I don't know maybe this is weird that's where he always starts the conversation maybe this is weird but I think I want to be a pastor one day <clears throat> I said okay all right okay you sure He's like, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. He goes, I don't know the word as good as you, but I'm gonna keep reading every day until I do. And so, and so this guy is on fire. He calls me up, he goes, Pastor, I'm at the gas station. I'm with this Muslim uh, gentleman and, and I'm telling him about the Holy Spirit. And he's jumping up and down at the gas pump. Then he goes, then he goes to the restaurant, he goes, Pastor, I'm talking to these four people. Uh, they, they, they know they gotta change. They know their life has to change. They need Jesus in their life. Pastor, I'm in the supermarket and they're, and they're going crazy next to the turkeys. And then you know, everywhere this guy goes, he's not afraid to tell people about Jesus. Yeah. The devil's in trouble with this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you say? I feel bad for him. <laughs> and you know something? He's been through a lot of trial and, 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 and tribulation in his life. But the blessing and abundance is here for you, my brother. Amen? Come on, share something. Yeah, I just want to thank the Lord for the vision and uh, the insight and the faith that he's given me to help my uh, daughter especially to be delivered. Amen. Household of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Kissing's an Italian thing. Now this guy, he's straight from the boat. This is Phil. Italian's gotta go last. And he's got a GoPro video camera on the baptismal. All right there. So everybody's going in. We're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting the video right there. Wow. Oh, it's warm in here. 
If you're wondering how we get all these great pictures on the website and all that stuff, it's because of him. Yeah. yeah. One of the greatest photographers I've ever met. So he does weddings, bar mitzvahs. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, is that he came, I met him um, at an event that LB invited me to uh, at Eisenhower Park. And a mutual friend, uh, Derek Garcia, Pastor Derek Garcia, that's here today, said, I want you to meet this guy because, you know, if you have any photos for events or anything like that, he's a great photographer. That's where it started. A little advertising because we're all, that's the way we roll, right? That's how we do it. Origin Photos. www.originphotos.com. <laughs> <That's how laughs> Hey, you come to the church, you get props from the pastor. No, but um, he started calling me and he said, you know, Pastor, I'm looking for a church. And I'm looking for a place to settle down. And I said, come. And so he said, I'm going to be there on Sunday. And he didn't show up. And so he says, Pastor, I'm sorry, I had things in it, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he said, I'm going to be there next week. No, he didn't come back either. Oh, Jake. Third week he comes. Changed his whole life. All of a sudden, we started the men's prayer group on Tuesdays and Bible study. He started coming every Tuesday. He started bringing people. And he said, Pastor, he said, I think I found my home. And not only did he find a home, he found the brother in me. He's my brother for life. He knows that. And, and, and he's found a lot of brothers here. And, you know, and I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes you do things, and family and people around you and friends don't want you to do it. But sometimes you got to make a stand for Jesus. This is the one right here. Amen. Yes. So I'm really excited about this one, and uh, and I love it with all my heart. Come on, share something. I'm speechless, man. Just I uh, love God. That's it. It's just I love it together. It's awesome. He wants nothing but the blood of Jesus. He wants nothing but the Lord. Amen. Come on. Without that, you're the confession of faith. Without that, you suck. 